there! This is Brittany from Just Be Crafty. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to join the Dainty Daisy Granny Squares so that they can be formed into a blanket. Then we're going to finish it off with the scalloped edge. So, if you haven't made your squares yet, you'll want to check out that tutorial which walks you through making the squares step by step. I'll have that linked in the description box below. For the complete written pattern as well as suggested square amounts for different size blankets, be sure to check out my blog post which will be linked below as well. Before we dive in, I want to take the time to invite you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and to hit the bell so you're notified whenever I post a new tutorial. I share new patterns on Tuesdays and new stitch techniques on Fridays, so you definitely don't want to miss out. And now, with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. Start by laying your squares flat out in front of you with the right sides facing up to visualize how you want your blanket. For this example, I'm going to join a mini sample of 9 squares. We're going to start by joining the rightmost squares vertically. Take your rightmost column and flip them over so that the right sides are touching. Rotate like so and start with the rightmost squares. Line up your stitches. And now we're going to make a slip knot. Insert your hook into the corner space with both of your lined up squares. Slide the slip knot on your hook from the back. And then chain one to join the squares together. Make one single crochet in that same corner space. Next, Line up your stitches with both of your squares and we're going to slip stitch our squares together. But instead of going through all loops of your stitches like we typically would with a normal slip stitch or single crochet, we'll be slip stitching in the outermost loops from both squares together. So that's what it would look like if I went through both loops, but we're going to just go through the outer loops of both of our layers. So that's the outer layer of our first square and the outer loop of our second square. Complete your slip stitch. Once again, I'm catching the outer loop of my first layer and the outer loop of my second layer and completing the slip stitch. outer loop of my first layer, outer loop of my second layer, and completing the slip stitch. Continue slip stitching across the row, catching only the outer loops. At this point, we're almost done joining these two squares together. We're almost at the end of the two squares. I have one more stitch to go, going through those outer loops. And next, now we're at our corner space, and in there, we're going to make a single crochet. Grab your next two squares. Line up those stitches as well and make one single crochet into the corner chain space. Repeat the process of slip stitching the squares together, catching the outer loops of the layers only. Keep repeating this process until you reach the end of your last squares of this vertical row.
Okay, I'm slip stitching into my last stitch. And now I'm going to place one single crochet in the last chain space. And now I've completed my first vertical row. And so we can cut our yarn and secure. And now open your work and this is what your piece should look like so far. We're now ready to work on our next vertical row. Line up your next vertical row like so and flip them over onto your leftmost joined row so that the right sides are facing each other. Rotate your work 90 degrees to the right. Line up your stitches and once again we're going to make a slip knot. Insert your hook into the corner space of both your lined up squares, slide the slip knot on from the back, and then chain one to join together. Make a single crochet into that same corner space. Next, line up your stitches and in the same fashion that we were previously doing, we're going to slip stitch the squares together, catching only the outermost loops. And then we're going to make one single crochet in each of the chain spaces. Once you reach the end of your last squares of the row, single crochet in the chain space, cut yarn, and secure. You'll want to repeat this process for your remaining vertical rows. So if you'd like, pause here and meet back up with me once you're ready to join all your horizontal rows. At this point, all my vertical rows are joined, so open your work and this is what it should look like at this point. We're now ready to join our horizontal rows. So now, working from top to bottom with the front side facing up, flip down your top row. And you're now going to work your horizontal rows in almost the same exact fashion. Begin with your slip knot and joining your first squares together with a chain one and single crochet in that chain space. So we're chaining one and then we're making one single crochet into that same chain space. We're once again are going to join our squares together by lining up the stitches and slip stitching the outermost loops together. Okay, I just have one more stitch left to slip stitch. And once we reach the chain space areas that were already joined together vertically, we're going to chain two and skip over that space. So as you can see vertically, those chain spaces were already joined. So right here, we're going to chain two. We're gonna skip over that space and we're going to continue slip stitching the rest of the stitches together. So we're continuing now to slip stitch the outer loops of the squares together. And I'll show you that again. So as we continue to slip stitch our outer loops together, 
We're working our way across our first horizontal row. Just got a couple of stitches left. All right, I'm on my last one. And now we've reached the chain space that's already been joined. We're going to chain two, skip over that space, and we're going to continue on slip stitching our outer loops of our squares together. And once again, once we reach the end of this horizontal row, we'll make a single crochet in the chain space and then we can cut our yarn and secure. So I'm just working my way across and I'm on my last two squares of this first horizontal row. We're just going to make a single crochet in that last chain space. We can now cut our yarn and secure. You'll join the remaining horizontal rows in the same exact fashion. If you'd like, pause here and meet back up with me once you've joined all of your remaining horizontal rows. At this point, all your squares should be joined together and we're now ready to begin the border. For round one, starting in any corner, chain one and make three single crochets into that same corner space. You're going to single crochet across the side, making one single crochet in each stitch. We're now coming up at our next chain spaces and we're going to make one single crochet in each of those two chain spaces. And we're gonna continue single crocheting along that side into each stitch and once we get to the next chain spaces, we're going to make one single crochet in each of those next two chain spaces. This is what it should look like so far. And I'm just single crocheting across into each of those stitches. I'm at my next chain one space. I'm single crocheting in there, single crocheting in the next chain space. And I'm just now single crocheting in those next stitches. Okay, and now I'm at my next corner and I'm going to make three single crochets into that same corner space. So at this point, I'm just going to keep repeating around, making three single crochets in each of my four blanket corners. I'm at my last single crochet. And now I'm going to join with the first single crochet of the round using a slip stitch. Now we're ready to begin round two. We're going to start with a chain one and then make a single crochet into that same stitch. We're then going to make three single crochets in the next center corner stitch.
And now we're going to make a single crochet in each of the following stitches until we reach the end of our first square where it joins with the next square. I'm just single crocheting across and I'm almost to that point where my next two squares join. And at that part, you might notice that your edging is not smooth in the areas where the squares are joined and it sort of dips inward a bit. To fix this, in the two stitches over the chain spaces where the squares are joined, we're going to make a double crochet in each of those two stitches. So I'm making a double crochet in that stitch that's over um, the chain space. And then in the next stitch that's over the next chain space, we're going to make a double crochet in there as well. And if for your blanket, if a double crochet seems a little too high for this, you can try using a half double crochet instead. You'll see that by adjusting your stitches, it will straighten out that edge. You'll want to keep repeating this process around your entire blanket. So we're just single crocheting around. And once again, I'm going to make double crochets in the two stitches that are over the chain spaces of my joined squares. So keep crocheting until you reach the next center corner stitch. So I'm just crocheting around. All right, and now I'm at that center corner stitch. I'm going to make three single crochets into that same stitch. And you're just going to keep crocheting around your blanket in the same fashion. So if you'd like, pause here and meet back up with me once you get to the end of the round. Okay, so I've just completed my last single crochet for round two, but I'm not going to join. For round three, we're going to skip two stitches and make seven double crochets in the next stitch. So here's one, and in that same stitch, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, so now we're going to skip two more stitches, and in the next stitch we're going to single crochet and then we're going to skip two more stitches, and then that next stitch we're going to make seven more double crochet. Okay, now we're going to skip two more stitches and in the next stitch we're going to single crochet. So you're just going to keep repeating this process until you get to the end of the round. If you'd like, pause here and meet back up with me once you've gotten to the end of the round. At this point, I'm almost to the end of the round, and it looks like I have space for one more scallop. So I'm going to go ahead and complete that. So one, two, three, four, 
three, four, five, six, and seven. And then next I'm going to join with the first stitch of the round using a slip stitch. And looking at mine, it looks like it would be too large of a gap if I would join with the first stitch of the round. So I'm just going to join with the stitch from the row just below that so I can avoid that big gap. And just to note, you may not have the exact stitch number left at the end of the round and that's okay. You can adjust your scallop stitch and your single crochet stitch as needed. Cut yarn and secure. At this point you can weave in your ends and there you have it. How to join your Dainty Daisy Granny Squares and to add a border. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already and would like to, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you never miss a new pattern. I typically come out with new patterns on Tuesdays and new stitch techniques on Fridays, so you definitely don't want to miss out. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!